DNA testing can determine where in Africa our forebears were from. Among those using the test to trace their family's past, Spike Lee, Oprah Winfrey, and actor Isaiah Washington, one of the stars of Grey's Anatomy. Brother Washington, with your mitochondrial DNA, it's quite common among the Mende and Temne people in Sierra Leone. Yeah! <laughs> their ancestry back to Africa, a history totally lost to them. If you think about young African Americans growing up thinking that the history started with slavery, I mean, how do you think that that impacts their psyche? We went through slavery, we didn't start with slavery. To Vi Higginson, the prospect of tracing even a tiny fraction of her ancestry back to Africa was enthralling. 60 Minutes sent her DNA to African ancestry as well as to several other genetic genealogy companies to see what they could tell us about Vi's maternal lineage. I'm sitting on the edge of my seat. <laughs> Kittle's company sent Vi what they call a certificate of ancestry. Oh my God. It says oh my God. that you share maternal genetic ancestry with people from the Mendy tribe in Sierra Leone. Do you know anything about Sierra Leone or no. the Mendy people? No. Nothing? Nothing. People have been waiting a lifetime for something like this. Now, this is just a tiny bit of information now. But they take it as huge. Right, because it's cracking open the door that was closed for centuries. There's a place in Africa, you could say, that I'm from. A tribe. A, a tribe. I am thrilled. It puts a name, a place, a location, a people. It opens up such possibilities. But the problem is, Sierra Leone wasn't the only answer Vi got. A company called Relative Genetics found a match to a single person in the Wobi tribe in the Ivory Coast. Different? Different. Now, I got all excited about that, and uh -huh. this is different? Uh -huh. Now, how could that happen? Then a third company... Trace genetics. Your particular sequence matches sequences reported among multiple uh oh Mendanka individuals in Senegal. What's up with this? And Family Tree so DNA, the company that linked Vi with Marion in the first place, came up with a whole list of matches. This goes on and on. My goodness. So, what do we know about Vi's ancestry? The DNA does indicate that she has distant relatives in the Mende tribe, but she also has relatives in all those other tribes. So no one can say for sure where Vi's maternal ancestor actually came from. When I handed Vi the certificate, she got extremely emotional about it. She wept, and it meant so very much. People want to believe. They want to believe they've gotten an answer. And it's not fair of us to let them believe that we're giving them certain answers because scientifically, we just can't. Hank Greeley is concerned that the science isn't really there yet for, for you to be giving them the name of a tribe. I think for most companies, I, I would be concerned too. But what about your own company? We, we have he the largest... He didn't exclude you. <laughs> he included you. But we have the largest um, uh, set of uh, sequences from Africa. And so... Yep. With that, with that, we're able to provide some level of probability in terms of frequency. But he would say that even though you have the largest database, it's still small on the scope of things. As I said, I share those, those concerns. About yourself? Our DNA. And that's the rub. This business of genetic genealogy is fraught with limitations. For one thing, it can only provide information about a tiny fraction of our ancestry. Because we get half our DNA from our mothers and half from our fathers, almost all of our DNA gets shuffled and remixed every generation, making it impossible to trace what comes from whom. There are just two bits of DNA that remain pure. The Y chromosome, which passes directly from father to son, and something called mitochondrial DNA, which passes unchanged from mother to child. Hank Greeley, a law professor at Stanford University, has studied this new field. He worries that people don't realize just how many ancestors they actually have. 
Eight generations ago, both you and I had 256 great, 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 great grandparents. Wait, you're saying that if you go back eight generations, uh-huh. we have 256 great, 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 great grandparents? Yes, it doubles every generation. So you've got two parents, you have four grandparents, you have eight great grandparents, <laughs> 16 great, great grandparents, and it adds up fast. It adds up so fast, in fact, that if you go back. 20 generations, you've got over a million grandparents. 1,048,576 to be exact. And in each generation, DNA testing can provide information about only two of them. So you could be Peruvian on your mother's 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 side, Japanese on your father's father's (laughs) father's side, Swedish on everything else. (laughs) And you'll never know. And you'll never know the Swedish from the Y chromosome or the mitochondrial DNA. Now, you've looked at several of these companies that are doing these tests. Yes. Do you think that they explain what you just explained to us? No. uh, I don't think any of them does as good a job of pointing out the limitations. But, you know, businesses often don't go around telling you how weak their product is. We don't oversell. I mean, we just say, look, we provide a service. If you're interested in exploring a tiny bit of your DNA and trace its ancestry, we can do that. When you say it's a tiny little amount? It's less than 0.1%. And that's pretty teeny. Yeah, but for people who know nothing about any of them, I think it's very important.